What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model the famous K67 kiosk in Revit. So this is this cool modular kiosk, it can either work as one unit or multiple units can be stacked together and make a larger structure. It's quite a cool little plastic kiosk and a lot of them were made, over 7500. But anyway, before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to get this uh, kiosk family that I'm going to be creating in this tutorial, you can get it on my Patreon where for only $5 a month you'll get access to all of my project files I've done so far. I've got over 150 Revit project files so far up there uploaded and I'm uploading every week. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So for this, I'm going to be creating it as a family. So let's start a new family and for template, I'm just going to drop back a folder to choose a metric template that's just what I prefer to use and here let's see do we have some generic model yeah I'm just going to be using this generic model and let's open it up and before we do anything of course let's set the units and for this project I'm just going to be using centimeters but come on start up okay let's go centimeters and let's go centimeters okay so you just type in UN for project units and just hit okay okay so now this is a plan view this is a floor plan so let's go to front elevation and let's add some reference planes just to make it easier on us so I'm just going to go here to reference plane or you can use the shortcut RP that's maybe even easier so I'm just going to be doing one horizontally like this because it's kind of lifted off the ground so let's give it a kind of a 15 centimeter offset from the ground then uh, let's uh, create another one so again RP for reference plane and let's use this pick lines tool and let's offset it by 250 centimeters I think that's all right for the height of the kiosk and, and now let's change the offset to 90 centimeters and do two of them like these and then perhaps we can maybe extend this a bit so these will be the sides of the kiosk so this is kind of the the profile of it and this is just going to be helping us model the whole thing so now let's go into some geometry and let's just go to create tab and let's choose extrusion and before you start uh, modeling or drawing uh, you go to set so just go set work plane and then you need to choose the work plane and let's use the center front back as that's the one that's facing towards us so let's just hit OK and uh, now I'm just going to be using pick lines to pick the existing reference planes because those are the ones that I need and then I'm just going to go into trim and extend so you go here to trim and extend or again use the shortcut RTR for trim and extend and then just let's trim these down and now let's fillet the edges just to make it look uh, as the real kiosk and for that you can use here the fillet tool and I'm going to use this option where I can check the radius and I'm just going to set it to 40 centimeters and then I can just kinda select lines and it will auto automatically make a 40 uh, centimeter radius and let's just use the offset tool and give it a 10 centimeter offset and let's just offset it all the way around and once we're finished we just hit the green finish edit mode and uh, let's just for the extrusion end let's set it at 125 and the extrusion start at minus 125 because the total I want it to be 2.5 meters and if we just go into 3D this is what we get so this is just one part of the of the kiosk now it has two it's kind of like a cross so let's just go to reference plane and go to rotate or you can use again the shortcut RO and then you go to copy and place center of rotation in the middle of this and then you just type in the angle of 90 so you just kinda twist it around for 90 degrees and if we go into 3D this is what that looks like and now I just like to join this geometry together so you just go here to join and you select one of them, you select the second one and now it looks kinda more realistic when everything is uh, kinda joined together but okay so we've got the the great a great base but let's start adding the windows and everything and first uh, there's kind of a little kind of uh, little area over here a little extension to cover people from the rain and everything so let's just go to front elevation and model that so go to create extrusion again let's set the work plane this time with pick a plane and let's set it to this here face and then again let's use pick lines like this 
just to pick uh, that little extension and then let's just close off the edges and uh, let's bring this in over here and here as well and let's just hit finish and for the extrusion end let's go with 40 centimeters as I think that will be enough and let's go into 3D okay there we have that little extension and let's just join that to the rest of the geometry now let's do the little window where you of course you need to have a kiosk window so go again to front elevation and uh, go create and vo void extrusion and let's just check that and use uh, pick lines and we're going to be using the same uh, work plane so let's just set it again just to make sure it's that one so select it and then use pick lines with the offset of 10 centimeters so let's go like this 10 10 10 10 okay delete this one we don't need it and then let's just do one line over here and let's give it an offset of 130 I think or maybe 120 that's kind of the great a great height for this kind of cell and again trim and extend TR and let's just trim and extend this hit finish go into 3D and as you can see over here it's not really cutting through so let's just extend it a little bit hit finish and now to cut it just go here to cut the geometry select the void select this line and there you go so we've got our window okay so let's look at the rest of it uh, so these sides uh, shouldn't be ending over here it, they should be ending here on the outside to make the inter inner space larger so let's fix that so I'm just going to go here to uh, not front elevation but let's go to right elevation for example okay and uh, I like to change this to hidden line it's just kinda easier for me to work like this and let's just go to create again void form void extrusion and let's use set work plane and again go pick a plane and let's pick this plane over here and let's just use pick lines and go all the way around pick all of the outside or the inside uh, lines just hit finish and let's just go to reference level and let's extend it inside kind of like that okay so once we have that if we go into 3d as you can see now this is a hole and we can select this void go back to reference level and let's just go rotate copy play center of rotation over here and let's rotate by 90 degrees so now it's over here and let's just go again copy rotate place and again go 90 degrees oops where is it okay let's select it again okay here it is copy place center of rotation here angle 90 degrees okay here it is so if we go into 3D as you can see now this is all opened up and now we need to close it off of course so we're going to be closing it here at the edges so just go back to maybe a left elevation and let's again turn this to hit a line and let's go with create extrusion let's set the work plane pick a plane and let's go with this face over here again pick lines and just again choose the inter edges or inner edges and let's just use trim and extend to close this off and this one over here and just go finish and for the extrusion end if we go into 3d and find it okay and let's just change the extrusion end at minus 10 like that and then we can just go into reference level and go rotate copy place over here angle 90 degrees okay it's at the wrong side so let's just flip it or no we can maybe mirror it so mirror it over here and let's delete this one and then let's select this one and mirror it to the other side as well and now let's go into 3d and let's just join this so it looks like a flat plane so just go join and join this to that this to that and again this to that okay and uh, just a couple of more things we need to add a door over here so the worker can get in as well as a little platform because if I go to front elevation as you can see now this is kinda uh, in the air so let's just go to reference level and let's just go with create extrusion rectangle and let's just do a simple rectangle like this hit finish go front elevation and let's just attach it over here and just go join geometry and join it to that so we've got a little podium for our little kiosk
and let's just finally go into right elevation or maybe left elevation I don't know for some reason I think the door should be on the left and let's just go to create and for the door I am just going to create a little void that's going to look like there's a door there even though we're not really going to classify it as a door because we don't really have a need for that so let's just go void form void extrusion uh, select work plane and let's go pick a plane and pick this plane over here create a rectangle kind of like that and now for this rectangle I'm just going to select this line and put this here do this at 35 centimeters and maybe this at 70 and let's just move this up a bit change this here to maybe one centimeter and the whole height at 210 maybe yeah and now just go to rectangle and give it an offset of one centimeter and go from here all the way up here okay and let's just go finish go into 3d let's select it okay we can only offset it by 10 it doesn't have to be so deep okay there you go so this works really nice and let's just add a doorknob so let's just go to uh, where were we left elevation and let's just go create extrusion just a little circle and just kind of place it like that okay the height is fine and let's just give it I don't know something like five centimeters and just hit finish and if we're going to 3d this is what we have so there's our little cool modular kiosk and let me just select the doorknob and give it some material let's go with something black I don't know uh, black okay yeah, let's use this material who cares it's black enough and let's just select the whole thing so you just hover over one of the elements and you just hit the tab a few times till the whole thing lights up and then you just select it and go material and let's just go with red usually these kiosks were red and let's see I think I'm going to use this one it's kind of a matte red I really like it and let's finish it off and let's just go into maybe realistic Ooh, that looks quite cool but anyway there's your little red uh, k67 kiosk modeled in Revit. okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and if you want to get this family just go to my patreon first link in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow